This Michigan Minority Business Hall of Fame tribute to Hank Aguirre has been sponsored by Global Automotive Alliance and The Ideal Group. His dream, his vision, was to employ and empower people that no one was giving a chance to. He grew his company big, but more is what he, what he symbolized, you know, what he stood for. He was by far one of the best people persons I had ever come in contact with. He was bigger than life and he had a mission and, and a passion and that's what he worked every day towards. He was a kid that was given a ball and, and loved it. When he was young, he took a tire swing, tied it to a tree, and would, would pitch the ball through the tire before he ever even made a team. Nobody had to tell him to practice. He, he loved the game of baseball. About March of 1979, Bill Freehan and Hank Aguirre and I um, started Mexican Industries. He started with nothing. He just had a few people. He rallied up here in Southwest. He rallied up a lot of the ladies that worked here in the neighborhood and found jobs for people and created an, an, a static environment where you could live, go to school, but most importantly, where you could work. He and I met when I opened my business in the early 80s, which was a bad time. Hank and I both knew that we have talented people in the Hispanic community, African American community, and our talents were being wasted. They weren't being used. The first year, very honestly, we had uh, about 30 employees, and we did $300,000 in sales the first year. And Bill and I did a lot of the selling, Hank took care of a lot of the setting up the business, and then after work, we would put on some work clothes and we'd go down and sort parts, which is what we were doing for Volkswagen at, at that time. He created so many possibilities for people that had no hope or no possibility of moving up the ranks or learning different skill sets. And he just had a a great personality. He was able to go to a high-level meeting at Ford and meet with vice presidents and even presidents at that time. Come back, put on his work clothes and walk through the plants and, how are you doing, John? How are you doing, Teresa? How are you doing, Freddie? And, and that's just the way he was. I came out to pay my respects to you and to say thank you very much for making exciting things happen here in the city of Detroit. Knock the boarded up houses down, build light industrial space, bring jobs in the city and that creates a big wheel that starts going. They pay taxes, you know, uh, they have dollars in their pockets and everything starts to go around again. Hundreds of people gather today at Holy Redeemer Church to say their last goodbyes to Hank Aguirre, a man who truly made a difference in the city of Detroit. Not only did he earn respect on the baseball field, but also in the business world and among Detroit leaders. He was a real presence in the Tiger Baseball, and even more so than that, a real presence in the community. And I think that's what we appreciate even more than his baseball ability. The fact that he came here and settled here, became a part of the community. His legacy lives on in his kids, uh, through his grandkids, his great-grandkids. It lives on through 1,800 families that he employed and they passed down stories of my dad and, and his work ethic and the number of brides he walked down the aisle. He was a father figure to everyone. Every one of my grandfather's grandchildren went into human service and business. That is his legacy. His family is living what he stood for. The challenges are still out there for us to meet, that's for sure. But in meeting those challenges, I ask you to remember that we are, each of us, angels with just one wing. And we can only fly by embracing one another. Thank you very much. <laughs>